You're just vigilant every day. You shouldn't have to be vigilant for years and years and years and years and years and years. Adia McCullough and her seven-year-old son, Robbie, are still dealing with the aftermath of a crisis in Flint that exposed its 100,000 residents to toxic levels of lead in the drinking water. I think people just automatically assume that it should be okay now. I did. I thought it was fixed. Most people do. All these years later, Adia still uses bottled water to wash her food and feed her cats. Robbie has brushed his teeth with bottled water his entire life. They're doing that because the city has still not fulfilled its promise to inspect the water pipes coming into their home for lead. They came and spray painted the pipeline and they put little flags and then they left and they never did the work. A Scripps News investigation discovered nearly a decade after the Flint water crisis, efforts to remove dangerous pipe have slowed to a crawl and thousands of residents may still need their water pipes inspected, like Adia. How does that feel? Well, it feels like you have no power, no support. It feels like you don't matter. It feels like the world just keeps going on, and you keep going on. But like, yeah, like you don't matter. Like, everyone here is not important enough. And it feels awful. The problem started nine years ago in 2014, when officials switched the source of the city's water in a cost-cutting move to the highly polluted Flint River. Its corrosive water caused underground pipes to begin leaching toxic amounts of lead into Flint's drinking water. As part of a settlement with Flint residents, the city was required to find and replace every lead water line. The court order deadline for the entire project was January of 2020 more than three years ago. Just this past February, a federal judge determined the city has violated and is violating the settlement agreement and concluded it has not done what it has promised to do. And all along, the city could have tapped further into $100 million in state and federal funds set aside in that settlement for Flint to get the lead out. But our Scripps News investigation found that the pace of inspections has dropped more than 95% from a peak in 2018. What is taking so long? We will not rush through this process just to say that we got it done. Under Mayor Sheldon Neely's watch, the city of Flint has missed three court deadlines to finish the job. He blamed the first two on delays caused by the previous mayor and the pandemic, which initially did slow down work for much of the nation. We pressed him on the most recent miss. And then there was another deadline after the pandemic started, and that was in September of well, well, let's 2022. Just, you got the data in front of you. Deadlines were set and deadlines were missed. I admit to that, right? Some, some uh, could be contributed to me and some could be contributed to other pieces, right? Early in his term, Mayor Neely's own administration cited the historic lack of proper record keeping for the city's failure to get the job done. But three years later, we discovered the city still does not know where its own contractors have carried out much of the work. Does the city know where work has been done? In many cases, we're, we're evaluating that today. So what's the number overall that needs to still be completed? Well, those numbers are, you know, elusive to say. You know, I don't want to be uh, nailed down to actually giving a particular number. How do you go down the punch list of homes that you have to complete or homes that you have to visit if right here, as you and I are talking, you don't seem to know how many more there are to go? Like you want me to give you a number? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. I give you percentages. More than 90% of this process has been completed. That's a number he repeated over and over again, no matter how hard we tried to pin him down. We're going to stick with the number of more than 90%. But Scripps News discovered more than 90% complete is also exactly where the city said it stood in this press release from August of 2020, nearly three years ago. Flint is being left behind again, and that cannot happen. Addie Rolnick is an attorney for the Natural Resources Defense Council, an environmental advocacy group that helped win the legal settlement on behalf of Flint's residents. It's still not fixed. The city has mismanaged this program for years. 
And we found health risks are once again growing. Lead in Flint's drinking water dropped to its lowest level in 2021. But the most recent tests showed levels triple that amount. Still just below the threshold for action by the EPA, but trending in the wrong direction. Nine parts per billion, which is high. Our goal is to get the lead pipes out. But when we visited Flint, we found crews on the street nine years into this crisis, searching only now for dangerous water pipes at people's homes and finding them. A project that was very easy to begin is, is more challenging to complete because we're still searching out a lot of those lines and trying to find and locate all of them. The reason why really I'm pressing a little bit here today is that there are real people who are, are waiting for help and have been calling the city saying, please come to my house, please check my pipe. Yeah, but that's not a statement of fact, Mark. I, I can't accept that as a statement of fact. You say we shared seven different stories of Flint residents with the mayor, including Adia McCullough, who all told us that they tried to get city contractors out to their homes, but are still waiting nine years later. The mayor had trouble believing that. If they're calling here, we have health navigators going door to door. The city hall is open every day. Our phone lines are active and, op and operational. But the day we sat down with the mayor, Here's what happened when we called the city's get the let out number for residents. The user's mailbox is not available at this time. Thank you. Goodbye. Can you put your head up just a little bit, buddy? There we go. Thank you. Days later, the city told us it put a work order in for Adia's home. But life on the front lines of this crisis has broken Adia's trust in the city of Flint. Something that shouldn't have happened should have been fixed immediately. And we shouldn't still be here years later trying to prove that it's not fixed.